Cheers, everybody. Welcome back to another beer review. And in this one, we have a... Well, it's a channel first. This is from a brewery I've never showcased on this channel. And we're off to Hexham in Northumberland, about 50 mile that way. And we're off to a brewery called the Grounding Angels. Grounding Angels Brewing Company. And we have a double IPA from them. And it is a can of their Journey Super Smashing Great, clocking in at 8%. There you go. It's the back side. Um, it's got Nelson and that Motueka, or whatever they call it, Hobbs. I can't pronounce that. Save me life, can I, boys and girls? Anyway, one thing I noticed about this artwork, you know, you got a killer whale with somebody on. Um, this looks a bit dodgy there on his wife fronts. Look at that. It's got like a little flower sticking out of his wife fronts. Is a bit weird. I'd love to know who did the artwork for that and what it's all about. You know, <laughs> strange being on the magic mushrooms again. Let's <laughs> crack this open like you do. So I just went on their website, had a look into it. A couple of lads started up. I think one of them has got a family history in the drink industry doing uh, Fentimans. It's Fentimans. Is that, is that, um, I've heard of Fentimans. Sounds familiar. Um, so, yeah. Um, so, this is the first beer. It might be the first or more for them. Um, I hope it's a good one. I really do, because I love supporting new breweries. Aroma. Mm, it's, it's got a little bit of lemon and a little bit of butterscotch as well for me. Definitely there. So, let's whack it in the glass like you do. And um, hopefully it's a good one, you know. Worst thing about beer reviewing, apart from, well, you're always honest when you review a beer, but the worst thing about beer reviewing is you pick up a beer from a, a brewery you either respect or a brewery you want to give a helping hand on the internet and the beer turns out to be a stinker. It's awful. It's, it's terrible. It is. It's It's... It's not a very good feeling, believe you me. But uh, at the end of the day, you, you can only be honest. You know, there's pointless me, you know, tarring it and say everything's good about a beer and everything. You know, I, I don't get the biggest views on my channel, far from it. But at the end of the day, it's very important, I think, that you stay true to yourself. You know, if anybody wants to do this on YouTube, or I'm doing, um, and a lot of people do it, um, you gotta be truthful. Don't lie. Don't don't lie about it. Just you know, if if you think a beer is rubbish, just say it. So as you can see, it's, it's very cloudy looking, very cloudy looking, quite a compacted head there. I mean, it looks rather intriguing to be honest with you. The aroma again, yeah, a little bit of lemon. It's kind of like it smells a little bit lemon cheesecakey in a way. You got the lemon and you got the biscuity base, but it smells rather decent, so I'm going to go in. So cheers, everybody! Mm. And it's rather, rather good. Remember, this is 8%. Um, they said on their website, a bit of blood, sweat and tears have gone into this beer. You know, hard work, hard graft has gone into this beer. And, you know, I think I can taste the blood, sweat and tears in this beer, to be honest. It's, it's, it's very nice. Best description for me is a lemon cheesecake in a way. It, you're getting a citrus bitterness on the front end. Follow through like a biscuity base towards the back end. It's not too bitter. The mouthfeel itself is very, very smooth. Silky smooth in a way. 
and it is a very very nice beer um very nice and you don't feel the eight percent in the taste you feel you're feeling that eight percent in the density of the beer you can feel you can feel it weighing you down you can feel you know you've got a lead weight in your stomach you can feel it but This is the first I've decided this is going to be a... I might do another one next week. I'll uh, hopefully pick another one up for me, mate, Matthew, because I'm sending him I'm sending him this one. And I was dreading it in a way, because I, I didn't send him some nice ones last time, but I have to say, I actually got a, a quality one for him. Um, I'm going to go... Lovely soft mouthfeel, very, very drinkable. For eight percent, it really is. That alcohol is very well hidden. No alcohol burn, no overbearing bitterness. It is. Uh, is it a juice bomb? Not. Le well, it's juicy, but I wouldn't say it's overdone in the juice bomb states. It is just right. So one more for the road. Very very nice indeed. Hopefully, I'll send this review to the brewery. And I might even go and see the boys myself, visit them, because I'm a big fan of that one, definitely. So, boys and girls, Grounding Angels Brew Company, the journey is going in there. It's a belter. Thank you very much for watching this beer review as ever. Please subscribe, put them in the comments, and I'll just see all of you again on me now. Another one. Another one. Cheers.